Hey there everybody, this is Jim Hiles from GoPlan 101. We're talking about risk, how you're handling the perceived risk in the marketplace. Let's say you own a bunch of stocks and you're worried about what's gonna happen next. What do you do? Well, there are basically three schools of thought on this one. You stay with what you've got because long-term investing is exactly that. You stay long-term. If you like what you own now, there's no reason you should sell it just because you're afraid of something that could happen. Okay, that's strategy one, the old buy and hold. Some people call it buy and hope. So it depends on what you're trying to achieve with your money. Let's talk about number two. Number two is heck with it. I take my money, pay my taxes, go into cash. I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and we're gonna wait and see when things get better. Well, that's certainly a way to do it. Problems with that is timing when you get out. Well, that's not as hard, just get out. Now you gotta time when to get back in and usually you don't time very well. Studies have shown over and over again that people are still scared when they should be buying and that's the problem. You generally miss the up when it happens. Remember, the best days to buy are immediately following the worst days in the market. So that's hard to do. How about number three? How about we hedge? How about we hedge from uh, some of this risk right now? How do we do that? Well, look into things that don't behave like a stock. How about gold? How about treasury inflation protected securities tips? How about we, we go short? We actually say, you know what, let's think this thing is going down, that's okay. We're actually gonna go short, or we're gonna do what they call an inverse, which means we're gonna make money when the market goes the other way. These are hedge techniques. If you're not using them, you should be. If you don't know how to use them, you should get a hold of somebody like me and walk you through how you don't have to sell everything and run to the hills, and you may not want to sit through all the roller coaster up and downs either. So thinking about how you can use these three strategies to protect your money, and good luck, we'll talk to you soon, thanks.